So, Professor Endres, we've, we've talked about uh, the market share that bioplastics has within the total plastic uh, uh, field, and it's a low base of about 1%. Um, what we haven't really covered is the recycling aspect of these materials. Now, for example, we were talking to a German converter that processes 1,200 pounds of material, 1,200 tons of material a month, um, and 600 tons of PLA, for example, throughout an entire year. Um, is this a problem waiting to happen for the bioplastics industry, that it can't be adequately recycled? First, uh, we should consider that we talk about uh, two things. The first one is a pre and the other one is a uh, post-consumer recycling. And at the moment we discuss uh, the issue post-consumer recycling and therefore we have, uh, that's right, we have small amounts of bioplastics on the market so it makes no economic sense to separate these small amounts of bioplastics from conventional waste streams. And these small amounts uh, have the capability of contaminating a waste stream that they happen to be in, is that correct? Uh, if we do not separate these bioplastics, means that normally they will end in the, um, uh, in the not separated fraction. So normally these bioplastics should not contaminate conventional plastics. So they're currently going to what? Um, energy from waste or incineration? Yes, exactly. Okay. At, at what point, though, will, will investment be required to address the, the appropriate recycling of bioplastic materials? Oh, when you ask the um, companies that are responsible for these uh, waste treatment uh, facilities, uh, they said that uh, you need an amount of uh, perhaps 20,000 tons per year of one material until it uh, makes uh, um, uh, sense from an economic uh, point of view to separate this material and to recycle this material. Do you think um, it is in the bioplastics industry's best interest uh, to wait for that kind of volume to be achieved? Or do you feel something should be done ahead of that level being arrived at? Oh, it's uh, how can they uh, increase this level? So they have no choice, they have to wait. But um, I think it's another problem. Um, today, we, uh, let me say, bioplastics are a small plant starting to grow up. And we discuss about the recyclability of bioplastics. Nobody discussed the recyclability of PET, for example, and the recycling of PET developed with the amount of plastics on the market. And in the case of bioplastic, the discussion is the other way around. We say that it makes no sense to introduce this material because we have no um, uh, logistic uh, approach uh, for the uh, recycling of this material. So, in other words, this is not an industry issue. Market forces will determine determine uh, the solution to, to, to what isn't necessarily a problem right now. Yes, it's a emotional driven uh, discussion and uh, what we do at the moment is we, we have a look to, to one, special, one special contamination scenario and then we roll out uh, the results uh, for the um, complete discussion uh, that is related to the recyclability or the contamination um, of uh, recycling polymers. So the European Converters Association has come out with a fairly critical study uh, suggesting that bioplastics uh, can't be recycled, that they're contaminating the waste stream, but this isn't so. Yes, that's the point. Once again, uh, what they have done is they um, uh, investigated a contaminated virgin material where they add some bioplastics and uh, they found out that with a larger amount of bioplastics in this virgin material, the properties of this virgin material uh, will change. But when we talk about, and, and then they said, based on these results, that a post-consumer recycling is not possible. But when we talk about post-consumer recycling, we have a mixture of many, many different plastics. And when we add bioplastics in this mixture of many different other plastics, then we uh, normally we see no influences because also bioplastics are also only plastics. So why should it make a difference when we mixture 10 different plastics or 10 plus plus one bioplastics. So it's nothing to do with the properties of the material, it's nothing to do with the technology, it's just that the volumes of, of bioplastic waste don't merit 
uh, the European the converters uh, making the investment to reprocess it and recycle it? Yes, that's a question of, of uh, the volume. Um, but what is really important is that we do not mixture different scenarios and that we do not use the result of one scenario to discuss other uh, contamination scenarios okay. and that's what they have done they have one result and they transform or tr uh, transmitted these results to two other scenarios thank you very much